5G needs higher level of infrastructure than what was existing in 4G. But in the 4G services, quite a reasonably good amount of infrastructure has been created in the country. So that would be used for 5G also. Some additional infrastructure would be required, more number of cell sites. And electronically, you will be needing many more new sites where electronic facilities would be installed. So, in terms of physical infrastructure, there will be add-on on what 4G, uh, what infrastructure has been put in case of 4G. Electronics, completely new infrastructure will be there. Radio equipment would be new. Uh, the core would be new. So, they are being installed right now. And I think uh, by the end of 23, you would see that uh, some of the operators would have covered uh, all over India through 5G infrastructure. People have really woken about the necessity of country being self-reliant in technology, including telecom. You know, telecom is just one part of it, defense or railways, or a, you take any other technology sector. Prime Minister's call is the country should be self-reliant in these areas. In telecommunication in particular, industry has responded very well to this call. Now if you look at it, 4G radio access network, the core, people are producing that in India. 5G, number of companies have come up which have designed radio access network and many other peripheral equipment which are required for 5G network have been designed in India. So I am sure with this call of Honorable Prime Minister for Self-Reliance, Atman Nirbhar, not only country would be manufacturing for our own local requirement, but we would be exporting also these products very soon. So this is going to cause a lot of increase in our uh, local production of telecom equipment. And also, instead of spending foreign exchange, this can become a net earner of foreign exchange in next few years' time. We are already exporting our fiber optic cable in different countries. Uh, and this year, we expect our exports for the fiber optic cable to touch about 750 crores which is double than what we did last year. Next year, again, we plan to further double it and reach it to 1,500 crores. The countries which we are exporting are mostly in Western Europe. Now we are going to go to the US market and different other markets all around the world. It comes out naturally. Leadership is, one has to have inclusive leadership, wherein you listen to everybody's point of view, you give opportunity to everybody in the organization to express their opinion and then take decision not on the basis of what you think but on the basis of what is the best available solution is available to a particular problem after listening to everybody. You don't need to have any gender bias, give equal opportunity to men, women, boys, girls. Same point of time, one has to have a policy where you care for your employees. 5G rollout is going to create an entirely new ecosystem. In a sense that certain applications which are not available on the current generation of the network like 4G, nothing was available on 2G except voice, but even 4G, these applications are not available. These new, new use cases are going to develop. They will be in the sector of manufacturing, like Industry 4.0. They will be in the sector of agriculture, transportation, healthcare, education. So a lot of new in industries, use cases are going to develop. That would mean the way those industries function would become different. And the development of those new use cases means there would be a lot of starters, startups coming up where young boys and girls would start developing new use cases with their own creativity and intelligence. So that would create an entirely new ecosystem of startups. Moreover, when you have new use cases coming for different industries, ancillary industries around that would develop. So this is going to create a lot of new employment 
and lot of increase in the GDP of the country.